Yeah, getting across the border into America is now the easy part for Canadians. It's the getting back home part that's proving to be a bit of a problem. Day one of the long-awaited border reopening, and things are quiet at Linden's Edeline Dairy Store. Far too quiet. Strange. Um, like you see in here today, there's not a lot of traffic, not a lot of customers. Mitch Morley uh, runs the fourth generation dairy. He says he lost 70% of his business at the border town store since the crossing closed 20 months ago. 25, 21. Canadians often cross the border to buy staples like milk because they're cheaper in the States. But not these days. In order to get back into Canada, travelers must pass a pricey molecular COVID test. Pricey molecular COVID test. Even if they were in America just a few hours, they cost anywhere from $150 to $300. For the day shopper that we specifically have, um, that's going to be a pretty uh, stringent requirement for them. It's making a quick trip across the border for milk or ice cream for that matter completely unaffordable. Folks like Amon Gill say they won't be coming to Whatcom County to shop nearly as often. Thank you. Thank you. That's an expensive uh, bucket of ice cream right uh, there. Yeah, it could be a pretty expensive bucket of ice cream, but I also did many shopping things like Going, I went down to Bellingham, bought a few other things. So it, it's not cheap, but it's nice to just be back. Almon made the trip worth his while, but border town mayors worried the test requirement will hamper tourism to America, especially for families having to pay hundreds of dollars to return home. At this point, it's unclear when the rule will be relaxed. And we're hopefully optimistic that uh, you know the, that testing requirement could um, be uh, could go away in the near future. Um, not sure the, what the timeline is on that. For now, but, Mitch Morleg uh, is simply happy to see any Canadians in his store, and he's welcoming them with open arms. We're excited that it's a start to get it open to this point, and uh, we'll see what happens. Today, Canadian health officials said they are reviewing the COVID test procedures to see if there is a cheaper test that could be used for re-entry back into Canada. At this point, though, there is no telling when or even if that'll happen. Live in Linden tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. Do you know why? You gave them the power.